It's the echo of drums that pulsate through the Mobile County Training School, not just Saturday, but echoes go back more than 100 years. Finally getting the recognition that it deserves. We are, this story has been around for a lot of years. It's been swept under the rug and, you know, sort of hidden, but this story is out now and everybody is seeing Africa Town for what it is. A tribute to the 110 Africans who were put on the last slave ship headed to the United States so their story won't be forgotten. That they were outstanding and resilient people. Who do you know who could have survived a two-month voyage but naked, okay, through two hurricanes, teenagers mostly, and still got here and survived for five years being enslaved. With more high-profile projects telling this Mobile County tale, it's a story that's being heard well beyond Alabama. The activities have ramped up quite a bit, and it was primarily due to the discovery of the Clotilde. That's hard physical evidence that cannot be denied. Organizers say they still need more support from the city and surrounding community. Montgomery has embraced its slave history. Birmingham has embraced its slave history. Charleston has embraced it. Savannah. We need to make sure that the city of Mobile and the surrounding areas understand. This was history. They hope the legacies can be preserved. In Mobile, Chad Petrie, WKRG News 5.